Habibi, welcome to Dubai. I'm in Dubai right now. Or should I say I'm flying in Dubai in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3.1 video. And I'm flying past the magnificent Burj Khalifa in a glider kind of plane, uh, as you can see on your screen. The game is very poorly optimized, as you can see. I'm playing it on an RTX 2060 with uh, graphics preset is set on 1080p and uh, the settings are on medium but still i'm getting around only 40 fps in this dubai city area so yeah we will install fsa 3.1 mod in this game but before installing the mod let me tell you that uh, msif taverner will not be compatible with this mod uh, i am using it right now but uh, if you use it after installing the mod the hood fix will not work and the game will also crash after 20 to 30 seconds of gameplay so yeah do not use ms afterburner uh, and yeah let's start this video without any delay now all right so we will be needing this zip mfs 2024 fsr 3.1 now don't confuse with this mfs with that mfs you are better than this so yeah anyway um, we're gonna extract this zip to the desktop now after extracting we will find some files and folders so keep it at this side and open the installation directory of uh, flight simulator for me which is here now after opening there will be two steps for uh, two gpu for nvidia and amd so for nvidia gpu you will need to first select everything then hold control and left click on this one i mean just unselect this one and copy all these files to the installation directory after pasting this you will need to go inside dlss overrides then double click on enable signature override then click on yes and click on ok now this is the done for the nvidia gpu now if you are on amd gpu you will need to paste this additional file so we will extract it on the folder after that uh, we will see two files here uh, all you need to do is copy it and paste it here now i'm not gonna paste because why i am running it on an nvidia gpu so yeah so i'm gonna quit the ms after burner because that's not compatible as i told earlier so yeah i'm gonna get inside the game uh, and show you how to use the frame generation and how to use the hot fix so yeah let's dive inside the game now price drop on call of duty modern warfare series with mw3 priced at 250 rupees per week mw2 250 rupees per week and mw1 at only 199 per week all right uh, i am inside the game and i have upgraded my plane to a somewhat modern uh, version of the plane so right now uh, fps is still on the same only 40 50 but uh, if you have done everything correctly you now need to go to setting in order to generate the frames and uh, in graphics panel you should now be able to use the dlss even on uh, gtx and amd gpu so yeah set anti-lazing on dlss uh, preset you can use whatever balance quality so i'm using balance because the game is very poorly optimized already and now you need to press ins slash the insert key on the keyboard and this kind of menu will open up now notice the frame rate it's around 50 we will activate the frame generation along with the fg hood fix and it will be set to one no need to tweak or uh, do anything with it no need to click fg hood fix just activate frame generation and hood fix and close this overlay and uh, now you can see uh, the frame rate has now boosted from 40 to 90 now if you want to know if this frame is real or not you can use uh, fg debug overlay anytime but uh, yeah the mod is a little bit unstable so activating the fg debug overlay might crash sometime might not i will activate it and show you in the last but yeah first let me just uh, measure the frame rate with the mod uh, so yeah it's staying around 80 to 90 so which is almost 100 uh, percent uh, boost over the previous native fps one more thing is uh, the game is surprisingly small size uh, i don't know the previous game is maybe 100 to 150 gb but this one is size only 24 gigabytes or something so yeah i'm now gonna activate the debug view so if you click on this debug view 
you will see something like this uh, all you need to do is locate this these two paragraphs like uh, the bottom one will be the main gameplay and the right bottom one will be the hood with gameplay so if these two are looking similar like this uh, you will know that the hood fix is working properly you can also feel the smoothness in the game uh, while using the frame generation so yeah do not use msi afterburner or your hood will flicker extensively and the game will crash maybe 20 to 30 seconds later or so so yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel if you are facing any kind of issue comment down below or join discord for more discussion and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers